Eighty News, Wasingishu County. Now imagine donning two government crowns in different capacities, one as administration police officer and another as an assistant chief, but without any penny or and wallow in poverty at 43 years of age. This is the story of Arnold Moody from Ikolomani, Kakamega County, who served as a police officer for only 11 months before being fired for being absent from his assigned premises when a break-in occurred. Eight years later, he lands another job as an assistant chief without salary for lacking a discharge certificate from the police service. As Alan Ochanda reports, police spokesperson Dr. Resila Anyango has, however, defended the police service, saying that at the time Moody was dropped, the administration police de department was under the provincial administration. Take a look. 43-year-old Arnold Moody casts a lonely figure at his home in Shisejeri, Ikolomani, Kakamega County, as he goes about his home chores. Moody says immediately after his secondary school education, he secured a chance in the police service as an administration police officer. He was deployed to northeastern region and assigned together with another officer to guard northeastern province girls' high school. It is here that his misfortunes began as one night armed robbers broke in and stole valuables. Tulienda na mwenzangu ambaye anaitwa Rashid tukaenda tuka patrol shule tukapata kila kitu iko sawa sawa na tuka retreat after some hours usiku wa manane kitu kama saa nane tulipigiwa simu kwamba wezi wameingia shuleni na wanaiba shuleni. Mimi na mwenzangu tulienda kati tulienda tulipata wezi wa shaa vandalize ofisi na wameenda the area he says is prone to crime but that one incident extinguished his young career as the following morning saw his bosses order for their arrest so wakubwa hii asubuhi wakubwa walikuwa wamesikia habari kwamba shule imeibiwa walikuja wakati walikuja walitupata toko tu wakati uliza what happened tukawaelezea wakaenda wakauliza idimisa what happened akaeleza so sisi tulishikwa hapo tu the duo was arraigned before agarisa court and after two and a half years, they were indicted for having been absent from their place of work when the incident happened. They were slapped with a 20,000 shillings fine or a one-year jail term. They paid the fine but were discharged from the service in 2008. 2012, November, Kesi Kamuliwa, Tukwana Makosa. So here, 2012, we to the police. We were successful. Tungependa kurudishwa kazi. Kutoka hiyo wakati tukangoja majibu, majibu hai kukuja. Tukawaandikia tena. Wakati tulowaandikia walitujibu, wakasema kwamba wao siku, siku hizo wa deal na maneno ya discipline ya polisi kulikuwa na commission ambayo imekuwa formed, newly formed ambayo ina deal na hiyo na hiyo issue. So sisi tuandikie commission. So tuliandikia commission an emotional moody says it wasn't easy to accept and went back to his rural home here life was difficult as he was the only breadwinner of his young family as luck will have it however in 2014 an advert seeking to fill the vacant position of assistant chief of shisejeri sublocation was made public he recollected himself and tried his luck he beat other candidates and secured the position but it was short-lived year 2015 june Nikapewa kazi, nikaanza kazi rasmi. Nikakuwa inaugurated, watu wakuhuja hapa wakakula. Nikaanza kazi. Nikuambia sasa wanipe tu hata this certificate. Because my new appointment, walikuwa nitaka hii this certificate, they were approved hii new appointment. So from 2016, mpaka wakati na sememisha 2020, hakuna kitu ambe mfanyika. So ina shangani, ilifanya nini? These documents, he says, are his only treasure that he has safely kept, even though in his several requests to have his discharge certificate, the police service has acknowledged only twice. Modi wonders whether the crowns of honor he donned are jinxed. After six years, he was again shown the marching orders from his new position as an administrator. I was serving for six years without any pay. I was to the office of DC. I was to the office of the appointment was not approved. Just like that. Lafa niko nyumbani na kaa nyumbani tu. Huko na familia na watoto wanasoma. So bad. Lafa niko nyumbani tu. Na angaika na kutaseka na watoto. He says his tribulations have almost rendered him a recluse as the harsh societal judgment takes a toll order on him.
jamani issue moja tu nitasaka hivi ifanye tu nitasaka hiyo maisha yangu yote KTN News reached out to the police spokesperson Dr. Resila Onyanga who defended the police service saying at the time Moody was axed the administration police department was under the provincial administration Arnold Moody's life has been a roller coaster a cocktail of fortunes and misfortunes he has donned the administration police crown for 11 months and that of the assistant chief for 6 years but without a pay he has since retreated back to the village but has vowed to pursue justice which lies with the National Police Service Commission and the National Police Service. Alan Ochanda, KTN News. A new report by the Mitu